Do you like breaking games? Cool. We're not breaking games today. Today we're gonna look at some Easter eggs in Sunhaven. Slash things that I discovered you can do in the game that I don't think most people know that you can. If you don't know what Sunhaven is, it is a new fantasy RPG and farming simulation game, and you can go ahead and watch my game review here. Our very first Easter egg of the day involves the train that you take to Sunhaven right at the start of the game. Take a look around you on the train. You arrive with Lynn, who is a beautiful, romanceable blacksmith's apprentice. But to the left, you might see a familiar looking wolf boy named Donovan, and on the right, you might see a familiar looking elf boy named Van. I'm not saying that they're familiar to you yet, but they will be familiar very soon, as they are also romanceful characters that you'll have to actually unlock in different areas of the map. Namely, you can find Donovan in Withergate, the monster town, and Van in Nelvari, the elf town. Is his name Van? Is it named Vaughn? I'm very guilty of paying more attention to romanceful characters characters than other NPCs, but you can actually also see Albert and Judith on the train who are a beautiful elderly couple in Sunhaven and they're very very sweet. Our next Easter egg happens right here in Sunhaven. If you check out the area to the north of your farm, you'll find Liam's Bakery. Extremely cute bakery, extremely cute interior, and a really large field of wheat right outside. You can actually take your scythe and actually try to harvest his wheat. And well, something really interesting happens. Farmer, it's you? I just took you for a bandit just now. I don't know how things are done where you come from, but in Sunhaven, we don't take from our neighbor's fields. I'm so sorry, it won't happen again. Thanks, I really want us to be good neighbors. I haven't even met him yet. Again! Farmer, it's you again? I said I would call the guards if I caught you taking my wheat. Oh, I'm so scared. Guards! What's the trouble? <laughs> I caught Faye stealing wheat from my field. I'll take it from here. Let's go, thief. You're going into lockup. I feel bad. Liam's so nice. Two seconds later. Farmer, it's you again? I said I would call the guards if I caught you taking my wheat. Ooh, I'm so scared. Guards! What's the trouble? I caught face stealing wheat from my field again. I'll take it from here. Let's go, thief. You're going to the slammer. <laughs> he changes the name of the jail each time. <laughs> All right, these next few Easter eggs are about specific furniture items. Did you know that the windmill that you can receive from a certain NPC in the mail, yes, through the mail, can actually be placed inside too? I, I just think this is hilarious. It's it's not technically a bug, I don't think, but it's, I think it's really funny and wanted to include it. Additionally, you can buy beds and place them outside of your farmhouse and outside of your Withergate apartment. Most of the time when I've been able to place beds in games, I haven't been able to actually sleep in them if they're located outside. But not in Sunhaven. You could sleep under the stars and suddenly wake up transported back inside your farmhouse. <laughs> Side note for this one, if you've upgraded your house interior, you will spawn inside a smaller house as if you had never upgraded it, but leaving the house and going back inside brings it back to its original upgraded state again. Our last few Easter eggs of the day are located in Withergate, the monster neon city where you have a rooftop farm, my favorite place in the game. The first one here has a spider warning, so please take a look at the timestamps in this video if you would like to skip this Easter egg, cause spiders. You might have figured this one out already, but in the middle of Withergate, there is a super large spider web with a neon signage pointing to it. I feel a little silly looking back to seeing that I couldn't figure this out. I kept clicking on the spider web, going around the back of the building, and nothing really worked. But if you click a jump button like a space bar or something like that, you'll get vaulted into the air and unlock this really cute clothing shop. Of course, it is run by a very large spider lady, hence the spider warning, but I do think that the game design here is beautiful. Our last Easter egg of the day is is also located in Withergate, and this one's kind of a tiny one, but I love it so much. When you stand at the top of Withergate stairs and you jump down them, your character actually spends more time in the air compared to
compared to normal jumps. This results in a floaty feeling when I'm playing. I just look forward to jumping down the stairs really quickly. I, I don't know. A floaty longer step that my character takes that for some reason it feels extremely satisfying to watch and do. I particularly love to do this when I'm riding around on my witch's broomstick, which is a mount in the game. Um, let me go ahead and try this with different mounts. It might be cute too. So what did you think of my Sunhaven Easter eggs? Drop a like and leave a comment below if there are some other Easter eggs I should check out. I hope to see you more in the Fae Cafe and have a wonderful day. Bye!